Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. This video is gonna be a little bit different. It's more of a vlog style thing, more of what you'd see probably in some of our members' videos. But a lot of you have asked, what do we do to get ready for the fish swaps that we attend every single month? That is really the only way when people are interested in buying fish from us, this is the only way in which we sell the fish is a fish swap. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna take you through the process. This is actually the day before the swap that we're gonna do on a Sunday morning. We've got some prep work to do. Let me show you what we're gonna be doing. So first things first, this tote that we've got here, this thing is gonna come on over here. And what we're gonna be doing is filling this up with water. And the reason we're gonna fill up this 30 gallon tote is because we wanna make sure we have fresh water available for the fish when we start to bag them up tomorrow morning. And I wanna get that done about well, it, it, the day before. So I wanna make sure the water's in here, it's dechlorinated, it's well oxygenated, it is free of ammonia, nitrites, nitrate, to really reduce the likelihood of any fish stress and fish loss. So you can see here, we're filling this thing up. I will run, we usually have an air stone sitting here, that's why in the back of the videos, you'll often see this thing. We'll just throw that in there. Right now I've got the air off, even though it's kind of noisy with the water running. We'll get that air stone running, we'll get this dechlorinated, and then we'll just let it run. I do like to, with this water, I do like to have it a little bit warmer because it's gonna cool down over the next 24 hours. And it's gonna maintain the same temperature as all the other tanks in the fish room because we heat the room itself. And so there won't be any temperature shock when we put the fish in bags because this water will be the same temperature as the tanks the water from the tanks they just came from. All right, so I did turn the air back on. It's gonna be a little bit noisier in here, but this is, you know, it's a working fish room for the next couple of days. Uh, so this 27, 28 gallons, I believe this tote holds, we're gonna use all this water for the bags that we bag up tomorrow. Got the air stone running. I do set aside the collection containers, so those things are ready to go. These. These Northfin things are awesome for just collecting fish. We obviously feed a lot of Northfin foods, but they're really good for just catching fish. And because they're white, it's easier to see the fish. The other thing I'm gonna do while I'm down here is I'm going to start counting the fish that we have available because we do have a lot of pre-orders. So I'm just using this as an example. We've got these Celebes rainbows. We're gonna be bringing these to the swaps. Now we did have a, a few pre-orders so we'll bag those and then I will count all the fish that I plan to bring. Look at the inventory. Uh, these over here, the Julitochromus transcriptus, those are going too. And so, like, or for instance, you see this fish right here? It's not doing so well. Uh, it just, it doesn't look right. The rest of the fish look great. I won't bring that fish. I will set that aside, take that out of the inventory. That's why a lot of people ask when we're doing the, the, the fish and we've got the pre-sales and stuff on the, on the website, Sometimes they'll ask, hey, are you gonna be bringing any more? The answer is usually yes, because let's say for instance with these Celebes rainbows, I have, I, I don't know how many are in here, maybe 15 or so. I might've only put 10 on the website because I wanna make sure that when people order 10, I can fulfill that order just in case something happens. These fish are looking great. I will bring the other five to the swab and bring one more bag, just like with the transcriptus there. I might only have five or so on the website, but usually I'll try to bring another bag. Next thing we have to do is make sure we've got our coolers and totes ready. We actually do, there's a couple of 27 gallon totes here. There's a cooler down there. And we'll, especially in the summertime, I'm not worried about the fish getting cold between here and the actual swap. So these three should be plenty fine and they'll actually go in the truck with me, not in the back, but in the temperature controlled uh, part where we sit. But this should be enough for all the bags that we have tomorrow. So the next thing we gotta do is I've got a list of fish that we're bringing. There are 42 bags that we're bringing tomorrow. Each one of these numbers represents a bag or a question mark represents a bag. So now it's a matter of getting the bags labeled. All right, so we have the piece of paper with all the quantities. We have all the bags labeled up and that's gonna pretty much do it for what we have to do on Saturday. All told, I probably spent a couple of hours just getting the water ready, getting the fish numbers all ready, getting the bags ready to go. We might have more to do tomorrow morning because we'll shut down the website, at least for pre-orders tomorrow as soon as we get up, but there might be a few more orders that roll in here. So now we're ready for tomorrow. All right, everyone, it is 4.45 in the morning. We're starting to bag fish. We've got all kinds of stuff to do. We got a couple more orders. 
That meant we had a couple, few more bags to bag than we thought we did yesterday. Let me show you what we've done so far. One of the things that I do is I go ahead and lay out all the bags on our fish room couch. I organize them by fish type and that way we know when the bags are done. We're done, I've got my checklist down here. I also have the totes ready to go. We've already started bagging fish. Let me show you something else that happened last night. The unexpected thing, that. One of the fish freaked out, hit the back of the glass, it cracked. Eli was the only one here when it happened. He, in his emergency thinking, go ahead, went ahead and he lowered the tank to a point where it wasn't leaking, it, leaking anymore. Disconnected the sponge filters to get air in there, so that is an issue that we're gonna have to deal with here today. All right, so we've been at it now for about 45 minutes, and it's always slow at the beginning because we're always just trying to get stuff set up, get our bearings straight, and it's not exactly easy waking up, hopping out of bed, waking up the family, running down here first thing pretty much right when you wake up. So now that we're awake, I think we're gonna start moving a little faster, but let me show you what we've done so far. So this is the story. What I like to do is I like to try to keep the bags separate. So these ones over here, these are the beginning of the pre-orders. Those are just some of the ones that we're bringing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags done. Okay, we've got about 45 or so, 46 bags to bring. You wanna know what really makes my day? I was catching Maltes out of this tank. I scooped up, they were really hungry scooped up two nets and got all 12 of the fish I needed in two scoops. That's a good day. All right, we are officially at about an hour and we have bagged up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bags. So we're not quite halfway there, but hopefully within the next hour we'll be done. Okay, so we're finished bagging. We've got about 43 bags between these three totes slash coolers. We're gonna get these up in the truck, get ready for the swap, and we're gonna be on our way. All right, everybody, we are here, we're at the swap. It is about 9.30 right now. We just finished setting up the booth. I wanna take you inside, show you what it looks like now that everything is set up, show you what the swap looks like. It's gonna be fun. So this was what the booth looked like right, be right when we got there, and then we went ahead and set it up, added in the backgrounds, and of course, put all the fish out there and the signs and everything. And it was a really great swap here up close and personal. We only brought about 20 additional bags of fish to sell because most of our fish were pre-order. There were lots of booths there. Rink's Shrimp Farm is a nice booth, a lot of high quality shrimp. If you're in the area and you wanna check them out at a swap, they're usually here and at the GCCA. And they offer food here at Greenwater, free chips and pop. A lot of interesting fish. These were some nice guppies here. Loved the way this booth was set up with the, it was just very well lit. I like the bag rack because it makes it really easy to see the fish and it saves a ton of space. And so they were able to display a lot of fish in not a whole lot of space, which was pretty cool. Yes, we've got fish, we've got shrimp, but there are also lots of other things. Here you see tanks full of mystery snails. And that's one of the cool things about a swap is there are so many different things people are bringing in. Here, it's a whole table filled with basically fish food and water additives. This was a nice discus setup. You, the pictures really don't do it justice. The video doesn't do it justice. These were really nice looking discus. Lots of different types of fish. You got guppies, you got goldfish, you can see cichlids throughout. And I didn't film all of the tables, not even close. I just picked a few just to kind of show you some of what you can see, but there is so much more there. And it was a pretty good crowd for the middle of the summertime. Lots of people came. All right, everybody, we are about an hour and 15 minutes in and there's not many fish left, so things are going well. All right, everybody, so that's the swap. It is now close to one o'clock. We sold just about everything but a few bags. So that was a swap. That's our experience. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you soon.